Well, we're getting our, um, we call it the wet willy, huh, Ryan? Yep. And um, getting it ready for our sea deck. Harry he is um, learning how to apply sea deck. Is this your first sea deck job, Harry? This is it. Yeah, could, could you tell me what you're doing? I'm using some acetone to clean the uh, surface so that the uh, sea deck will apply a lot better. Okay, is, is that a non-skid surface? Non-skid, yes. Yes, Correct. with acetone. Acetone, yes. So, um, good, yeah, looks like you're doing a great job. Ryan, you wanna tell us a little bit what we got going on here? Ryan's a great teacher. We, uh, good. Oh yeah, so yeah, we just uh, applied C deck on the inside. Um, it's a nine millimeter uh, tricolor material. So okay. Three different colors on it. Mm -hmm. um, the bathroom floor. This is the piece that's going to go on the front that Harry's cleaning off right now. Ah, oh, puppy paw print uh, for a dog since he always likes to come in, up, up, in and out of the water that way. Okay. Um, we also applied sea uh, deck to this to the side pontoons. Uh, it's called a rib boat. Um, so a rigid inflatable boat. So we basically did this to where it's a little cooler to the touch instead of that rubber that gets hot in the sun. You can sit up here. Um, plus people stand up here all the time, give them a nice little non-skid area. Something new we're trying, see how yeah. it works. I love the numbers. I mean, that's pretty cool. You cut this right into your product. Uh, yeah, we inlaid. Uh, this, is, this is single color material. You can't really route down, obviously, to another color. So we just knife cut all the numbers out, inlaid um, uh, black material to kind of show the numbers mm -hmm. and obviously this is where our, our tag will go oh okay so, um, got it but uh but yeah so we'll see how it all lasts and i mean it should, yeah. should hold up the biggest uh thing that we're learning about right now is just making sure as something flexes um how the adhesive will yeah so, so far so good so it does flex could you kind of sit on that once ryan show yeah. me how that works so so you sit on it you know as well just making sure that all these edges hold mm -hmm. and Obviously, once you get out in the sun, the um, the temperature causes the pontoons to fill up a little bit, well, expand a little bit, so it'll kind of be more of a rigid, more tighter uh, fit to it. So, but um, but yeah, so so far so good, and yeah. obviously we'll be able to and get it's to fun. it out and use it and yeah, see what we can do with it. Down there at Lake Cumberland, you know, absolutely boaters paradise here in the Valley of Ohio, Tennessee, Kentucky. Oh yeah. Pretty nice, maybe a little foot run. Aw, yep. there's one of our dogs. Yep. So it's a basset hound. A little basset hound. So it's the center console rib boat. Nautica rib. Nautica yep. rib. They don't make those any longer. It's called a 20 foot cat. So 20 foot cat. They, yeah, they don't make them anymore, but these uh, front little uh, ramp ramp bridges that go down, they're, they're uh, quite nice. So easy to get in. Yeah get out into the water, and especially for your four-legged friend. There you go. Well, thanks, Ryan. SC Wake Sea Deck, rib boats. We do a lot of work up in the Great Lakes, and boy, oh boy, there's a lot of those up there. Absolutely. So we will share this with our friends up north. See y'all. Gets wrapped around a little bit, doesn't yeah, it? Gets wrapped around. Yeah, we're gonna wrap it around the front. Great boat. Oh, there you go. I love the puppy paw prints, Ryan. Could you just lay that on there a second so I can just kind of see what that's going to look like? Thanks, Harry. Nice fit. It's okay. And then that's going to wrap down, and there you go, SC Wake. Watch out rib boats, we're ready.